Kevin Lasseline, Saturday, November 18th, uh, 8.18 a.m. <clears throat> Dear medical community and brainwashed people, this is why you're fucking stupid. Okay, so you think I'm a schizophrenic? Yep, I'm homeless. I live in my car. It was 31 fucking degrees last night in my car. How did I survive? I'm fucking sweet. I'm not a pussy like you. You had nice 72 degrees in your house. 31 fucking degrees. You know how fucking cold that is? Did I have any heaters running last night? Nope. Two blankets. Anyways, this is why you're stupid. Okay, so try to pay attention. I'm gonna make a point here and the stupid people are gonna completely space out, right? They're already not interested in listening to this because I'm making fun of you and hurting your feelings. Okay, so vaccination and health. Uh, this is why nurses and doctors are fucking stupid. This is why I'm the smartest person on the planet. Definitely smarter than all you doctors and nurses because you're fucking stupid. And you brainwash conservatives or religious people, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so your health. What determines your health? I will post in the description. I've said this to people a million times. It's not fucking complicated. A list of what I'm calling variables or settings. Variables is a better word. Uh, health variables. Let's try to do the first couple ones. Memor try to memorize this list. I'm going to make a point. Um, you have to, okay, to, to understand when somebody's making a point, you have to shut the fuck up in your brain, listen to the information that they're saying, and try to understand the information, memorize it, and then you will understand the point. If you space out thinking about your stupid life or what you want to say, you're not going to understand the point that they're making. And the reason is you're dumb, you don't give a shit, or you're dumb and you don't give a shit. So anyways, oxygen, water, food, exercise, and sleep. Say it all by yourself. That's five things. How do you memorize five things? Oxygen, water, food, exercise, and sleep. So the point that I'm gonna make is, if you don't feel good and you go to the doctor, what's he gonna do? He's gonna say, you need a flu uh, vaccine, a coronavirus vaccine. And he hasn't asked you, or she hasn't asked you about oxygen. Do you have a window open up in your house ever for oxygen? You need oxygen for your cells to survive, right? Otherwise you will have problems. And instead you drink coffee to have caffeine to feel more energy. Drugs aren't energy. Caffeine is not energy, okay? You need oxygen first, which is not energy, but it's required for the process of energy, right? All medical people, you studied biology for four fucking years in university. Why do you not understand this? Because you're fucking stupid, okay? Um, what else? Water, good water. Is the tap water good enough? I don't know. Do you have to drink filtered water? I don't fucking know. What about food? What about protein, uh, carbs, and fats? The macronutrients. What about vitamins and minerals, right? All that stuff. What about exercise to flush toxins from your body? You have to sweat, you know, lifting weights, running to get your heart rate up, you know, for erosion. You have tubes inside your body that run along, right? And do you create erosion by increasing your heart rate, right? To flush shit from your body. Then you have to piss and shit it out. Okay, so before you should be asking patients about those things, oxygen, water, food, exercise, and sleep. And there's more than that, yes, sources of stress. You, if, you're, if you have all those things in check and you're stressed out because your relationships are shit, you hate your fucking job, yep. This isn't a fucking spiritual, spiritual conversation. <laughs> right, actual fucking variables, right? How do you not know this shit, right? So do you understand the point that I'm making? Yeah, the doctors should be asking you about those things before they say you should take drugs such as a vaccine for a flu virus or a coronavirus, right? So if those things are running around, it was, oh my God, I'm gonna get sick, I have to get vaccinated. No, motherfucker, check your fucking variables. Oxygen, water, food. Why do people not know this shit? Because people are fucking stupid and why, and why this is the problem? Because the drug companies are making money off you pieces of fucking shit, yep. Who pays for that? The government of Canada paid for all those vaccines. And who paid for that? Taxpayer dollars. You paid for all those fucking vaccines and you didn't need them. You're stupid. And you wonder why you have minus $500 on your taxes for your paycheck. Are you stupid? Why did the truckers protest? Because they didn't want to get fucking vaccinated because you don't need to get vaccinated. Okay, now repeat all by yourself the point. This is how you deal with these fucking medical pieces of fucking shit. And other people say, you're supposed to get vaccinated. You're supposed to get vaccinated. What comes before drugs? Health. Oxygen, water, food, exercise, sleep, sources of stress, financial relationships, all that shit before you take drugs. Or is alcohol or marijuana or cigarettes or caffeine or a vaccination vaccine, is that going to make you healthier? No. Why did you space out on this? You said we are living in unprecedented times on the fucking TV and everybody freaked out. You had the music going, oh, coronavirus, unprecedented times. Everybody got, everybody got scared and that fear and anxiety can actually stress you out and compromise and affect your cells. What are you doing? Completely irresponsible. Then to top it off, Brian Dennison's gym, Brian, Brian's Fitness Inferno. I went to high school with this motherfucker. I was a fellow personal trainer. After his gym was shut down for two years, then you said the gym's gonna open back up again. And he killed himself, 40 fucking years old. Then people said it's a mental illness. It is not a mental illness. You didn't give him his fucking wages. You said, here's your serve benefits, half of his fucking wages, yup. And then they had to fucking give their fucking kids craft dinner for fucking two years, whatever the fuck that was. 
Yeah, and how, why didn't anybody complain? Because what? I'm not getting enough benefits. It's taxpayer dollars. You should be happy that you're getting a free vaccine. You guys are fucking stupid. Why do you think this is... It? Look at Iceland right now. There's bills. People are about to get fucking rocked. Did you see the volcano? Why do you think this is funny? Turkey, what happened in 2023 in Turkey? Tsunamis, 2004 and 2011. What are you doing? You're about to get fucking destroyed by natural disasters because you don't give a shit. The pollution from all the vaccines, right? It was unnecessary. The truckers protested. <laughs> oh my God, these people are completely missing the point. Do you remember the point that I made in the video? No, you're supposed to get vaccinated. You want to be in the cool group of people. You're desperate to belong. You're you're playing this popularity contest like you're still in high school and say, if I have my hair like this and if I listen to Britney Spears and people will like me. You're fucking stupid. You're a fucking loser. Poser, loser, palooser. Anyways, so the pollution to make all those vaccines and the masks to make all the vac that's my dad being an asshole on telepathy because he doesn't want me to think for myself my dad gets angry on telepathy i know you're using telepathy that's my dad acting all hard even though i'm filming this i'm going to show everybody on youtube which is but my dad doesn't see youtube he's why is he doing that because he my dad thinks he's defending my sister and my stepmother because they're both fucking stupid and they think they're smarter than me because they have the university degree okay kev are you aware that you were talking about health and the vaccines and shit like that and you started going schizophrenic with your dad and your stepmother sister? really Oh my God, okay, Kev, oh my God, you barely knew Brian Nesson. Why don't you go fuck yourself? Why don't you ask some of his friends and family how they feel about mental illness versus uh, the coronavirus? Shut down the gyms. Did your numbers and math didn't make any fucking sense. You shut, said, we're gonna shut down the gyms to reduce the spread of the fucking virus. Yep, most people don't go to the gym. There's only 100 people that go to each fucking gym. That, the logic was not there, and the truckers protested, and then you remove the vaccine mandate, which means all these other people didn't have to get vaccinated anyways, which means the whole thing was a fucking fucking waste of time. I just woke up. I'm not awake. I have to stop the tape with too many minutes. Okay, so I have to say one more fucking time. See the description. I made a list of 31 health variables. You should be able to do that all by yourself. You don't have to go to the doctor. Just figure out, am I healthy? What do I have to do to be healthy? Food. Water, oxygen, sleep, exercise, stress. It's not fucking complicated. You say, but if the TV said I have to get vaccinated for a flu virus and a, a coronavirus vaccine. Yep. Ah, my sister goes, my name is Denise Lasling. Okay. My name is Denise Lasling, and my brother's only a computer programmer and software engineer with three years of St. Clair College. And I have a university degree from uh, University of Windsor and another one from Wayne State University. How could I not be smarter than my brother now? That's how stupid my fucking sister is. These people are fucking brainwashed. Does it take four years to become a nurse? No. You memorize diseases and pills and you practice taking blood from somebody and practice, what's the other one? Injecting them with something. Do you really need to do that for four fucking years? It takes a paramedic two fucking years of college. It's a money grab. So you can feel all cool. My, 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 oh my God, if you saw my fourth year nursing midterm and final exam, you would know that I am smart. You're not fucking smart. It's a four year fucking memory exercise for $60,000, okay? And you don't ask your patients, nurses or doctors, are you getting any oxygen? You go outside, you open up a window to get oxygen for your cells. Uh, what about food, protein for repair, water, exercise, sleep, sources of stress. You're not supposed, my name is Denise Lasley. You're not supposed to ask um, patients about their sources of stress because it could be like personal and their like relationships and their money and stuff like that. That's how stupid my sister is. So what should you do before you get vaccinated? What's more, what's gonna make you healthy? Drugs, which is, you know, vaccine, Marijuana, cigarettes, Kevin. What is that? Does that is that health or energy? No, it's fucking drugs. Water, food, oxygen. You switch the order around. Oxygen, water, food, exercise, sleep. Does the order really matter? Yet, how are you gonna deal with these fucking people who don't want to think for themselves? Go outside and get some fucking sun. You don't like the sun. You want to stay inside your house when it's perfect temperature, humidity, and 72 degrees. I only want to go outside if it's, I know it's too cold, it's too hot, it's too much humidity. You are completely disconnected from nature, which is why those people in Iceland right now, they're evacuating 3,000 people. It doesn't bother you. Those are white people, and nobody who's white on the planet right now, oh my God, I feel so bad for those people. The white race is the problem on your planet. The TVs that you're supposed to get vaccinated. We are living in unprecedented times. I'm scared of the coronavirus. Zero.